the mantle is well sought after. I want you to understand a lot of people skip the anointing, they skip the mandate, and they go straight for the mantle. Jeremiah was given the mantle of a prophet. And his calling was defined in Jeremiah chapter 1. But you cannot operate as Jeremiah operated. And this cannot be your call unless you went through the process of accountability. The reason God divided these things um, as so is so that... Our, our minds can be configured and accountable and, and, and able to handle the level of stretching and capacity increase that the Lord will need for us to handle the mantle. Now, a mantle is a cloak given by God alone. An anointing is given is a gift that God gives because you were born into the earth. A mandate is given by a man or a woman of God that was ordained by God to be covering your life and the covering for your life at a specific juncture, whether uh, it's been for a while or whether it's for a short amount of time, whatever that time period is, um, that covering gives you a mandate but when it comes to a mantle a mantle is not just given to anybody that does not have the perfected shoulders to handle the cloak that God rests it is not only given directly by God and it is not only special because it's heavy but it is special because you, when God places a mantle on you, you have literally come to the place where the Spirit of the Lord can trust you with the weight of His glory. Some people cannot handle it because it is their bodies have not been matured to the point where they can eat strong meat and birth healthily. And it's not necessarily so much about being once you get to the place of a mantle it's not about being cute you you you're not really doing this because it looks nice you're not doing this because it's appeasing to people you're doing this because the lord has anointed you and after he anointed you, you responded to the election of God. And after you responded to the election of God, you were found in the right position, doing the right thing, waiting for the right person, listening to the right voice, echoing the right sound. First Kings chapter 19, verse 19, I believe it is, where Elijah saw Elisha plowing behind 12 yokes of oxen. And it was in that place of work, toil, and 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 rough rough work hard work labor it was in that place of labor and 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 sacrifice and disgust as some would people would think that Elijah was instructed by God to throw his mantle on him so Elisha received the mantle of greater because he was sacrificing and obedient and not only that but he was found where he was supposed to be meaning that his position was there and he was in place and God found him where he appointed him to stay until he came back to give him the mantle that would carry him to the next place in his life. In receiving a mantle, your spiritual faculties are restored to their original intent. You go back to Genesis before Adam and Eve sinned. People don't know this. They don't believe this because... It's questionable, but a mantle is a reward and it's a restoration and it puts you back into that proper alignment. And when you have a mantle, you have the authority directly from the throne of God and you can establish the governments of God and carry the governments of the king.
You then have the authority to establish the word of God, to speak with power, send sons out and perfect God's sons and teach them based upon the ministry and succession of the fivefold ministry. And when you are in the position of carrying a mantle, I want you to always understand that a mantle uh, gives you the opportunity and gives you the power to not only travail, but to be a midwife. And you, you, it, it comes, I don't care what the nature of the mantle is. Some people have the mantle of Jeremiah. Uh, some people have the mantle of the prophet. Some people have uh, the mantle of the apostolic. It doesn't have to mean that they are an apostle. They can have the mantle of the apostolic. Um, and have apostolic su successions flowing out of their words or apostolic rivers or prophetic rivers or pastoral rivers. It doesn't have to be an office, but nine times out of ten, they are operating in that office because it's hard for them to do much of anything else. But when that mantle comes upon you, God then begins to restore the arts of dominion and the, the, the wisdom on how to skillfully warfare in the spirit. He restores you to your original intent and your original position, your original authority, your uh, original uh, dimension of worship. He restores to you every single spiritual faculty that was given to you by the Father. This is what the Lord desires to do. It is from three stages, these three stages. One, he deals with the anointing, where you can create an atmosphere to midwife. Mandates, it gives you the delegated authority to midwife. But a mantle, it cloaks you in the office of a midwife. And it is because of that office that you now can go down to Jeremiah chapter 1 and do, and verse 10, go to exactly the root of the issue God said to Jeremiah there are some things that you might have to uproot and tear down destroy and overthrow he said but there will be other things that you must build up and plant and it will be because of the mantle that the Lord has placed upon you that you will have the authority and the skillfulness to know how to do them all so I hope that I didn't just ramble um, I'm going to stop right there because um, a lot of what I'm talking about even right now is actually going into um, one of my books that I'm prayerfully hoping to get out in 2012 um, called Spiritual Midwifery um, Before the New Birth. And um, working on it right now and we're looking hopefully at a fall release or so. Um, and I'll be sure to keep you posted on all of that. Uh, you can go to my website at MissRachelAnna.com. That's M-S-R-A-C-H-E-L-H-N-N-A.com. Um, and all the information will be posted there as um, time would have it, an opportunity would permit. And um, I, I really just, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to go too deep into this. I think over time we will deal with it um, as the Lord w would allow. Um, my main focus is to, to help us to understand the three dimensions and three ordinances of God and the three ordinations of God. There are no levels, just, di just dimensions. I don't want to think levels. There are no, as a matter of fact, don't even think levels. Think capacity. It's not about better it's about greater it's think like that it's not about better it's about greater it's about how much are you able to obtain of God how much can God entrust within you uh, based upon your accountability did you did you hide your your talents in the earth or did you go and multiply and bring him that more so that's all for today I thank you so much for your time. My time is up. God bless you. And I hope to see you all again next time. All right. God bless you.